Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers. Doing it slightly different today in a different setting, standing up. I'm doing it in the same style as football therapy. Um, so today guys, I'm doing a quick transfer daily video. Stay tuned for my match review video, which is gonna be coming out a bit later today. So we've got two for the price of one. So the reason I'm making this video is guys, it's been confirmed. Signed, sealed, delivered, signed the papers, he's holding up the scarf, he's got the shirt. Mendy is our new goalkeeper guys, so it's time to celebrate, it's time to rejoice. No more having to put up with Kepa's um, poor shot save ratio. The shot yesterday, that Caballero tipped over the bar, Kepa would never have got to that. We've got a goalkeeper, hopefully a Mendy, who will make those saves, the saves that goalkeepers are meant to be making so um it's a reason to be cheerful guys so now that's another part of the jigsaw sorted out um, we saw yesterday with kai havertz we've got a goal scoring midfielder we saw yesterday with tiago silva we've got a defender who can now organize a back line now with mendy touchwood we've got a goalkeeper who can actually make saves like they're meant to be that like they were paid for a goalkeeper who can catch crosses a goalkeeper that can talk to the back line, a goalkeeper who can shout, organise as well. So a commanding goalkeeper, a positive goalkeeper. These are the things we need in our goalkeeper. So welcome to the club, Edward Mendy. So let's hope that he can hit the ground running and let's hope that we've finally got a goalkeeper who can help us to compete and challenge for trophies. So guys, it's done. Done. I said it was done a few weeks ago. People have faith. Keep the faith. You know, some people didn't believe. So um, I've had a lot of people on the comment uh, comment section saying, "When's he coming? When's he coming? He's here. He's finally arrived, guys." So we've got a goalkeeper. And I did an African eleven. Uh, if you go go back to that one, it was a few months ago when I first started out this channel. I did an African eleven, and I was struggling to find a goalkeeper to put in there. So I had to use Ty, a Nicholas Ty, I don't think he's long, no long, longer with a club, um, based on the fact that all they hadn't played a game for Chelsea, but he was um, in the uh, Ivory Coast uh, squad. Uh, so, so, but now we've got a goalkeeper, an African goalkeeper who he can put into my defence. So I must have probably make a new African eleven and stick Eduardo Mendy between the sticks. So, um, it's great to have him on board, guys. Um, so, so really quickly, got another two pieces of transfer rumours that I've been going doing the rounds. The first one is to do with uh, Rudiger. This talk that Rudiger has had a fallout with Frank Lampard, and that he may be the next one out of the door. Um, he's been getting a bit too big for his boots, apparently. I don't know. Don't, know, don't shoot the messenger. Those are just what I'm hearing. And there's the two Milan clubs are interested in him. You know, Conte bought to Chelsea, so Conte is interested in bringing him to Inter Milan. AC Milan are in the rebuilding stage, so they need, they're looking at players. So he's one of the guys they've identified. And uh, obviously, with Thiago Silva coming to Chelsea, there's a gaping hole in that back line for PSG. So um, PSG are another team who are looking for him so and the reason why Chelsea are maybe thinking of getting rid of him as well is because he's at the right age and he's uh, he's a sellable asset he's one the, the one that most uh, a few clubs are after when it comes to Chelsea uh, defenders so that's why another reason why Chelsea may want to uh, sell him while he's at his highest value so if we can get between 30, 40 million I reckon if someone bids 40 million then I think he'll probably go so watch out for that one the other one i heard a little bit of news yesterday that um chelsea are going to put in an official bid for declan rice because there's a lot of talk about declan rice i'm hearing that they'll be putting an official bid for declan rice in in the coming days and west ham are willing to do business at around 55 to 60 million again don't shoot the messenger so we'll have to wait and see how that one develops so guys great news Great news indeed. We've finally got a goalkeeper. So if we get in that holding midfielder then the jigsaw is complete. All the pieces are then coming into place and you're gonna see Chelsea challenging for real odds. 
So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like the channel, subscribe to the channel, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time we make a video and share this video to your friends. Let them know that we've now got a goalkeeper. Get him.